check it out. You're gonna need the Allen key that came with your saw, a three millimeter Allen key, a pair of wire cutters and crimpers, some terminal connectors, a flathead screwdriver, and these lights. I'll put a link in the description. You can get a 10 pack on Amazon for $8. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take off the guard for the miter saw. If it's plugged in or you have batteries and you need to be told, just disconnect the power. That three millimeter Allen key goes right here. Then you're gonna to wanna to take off the blade. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take out these screws right here. There's two of them that hold the laser on. <clears throat> All right, there's a little plastic piece in here. It's gonna fall out, don't lose it. Put it somewhere safe. Then you're gonna pop this piece off right here. Just pull it over and it'll come off. There's two little plastic nibs right there. Then you're gonna take a little flathead screwdriver and you're gonna take out that little flathead screw right there. It's a long tube that's threaded just a tiny bit on the other end and it goes all the way through. Then you're gonna use your flathead screwdriver to pry this piece of plastic up on both sides. It looks exactly the same. And then it pops off. Next, you wanna take out this screw right here. All right, next, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect this right here. And it's easy enough to just push your fingernail right there and pull it out. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take out these six screws right here. And then this piece comes off. Make sure you don't just hold on to this piece because it's gonna fall out. And it fell, I cut. And just put it off to a safe place. Put this off to a safe place. Next, you're gonna to wanna to clean it out. And then the switch, gets connected to this little transformer right here. I need two hands. And that cable you unplugged is gonna come up from the bottom through a hole. You're gonna to wanna to unplug the switch. And then you're gonna to wanna to unplug the transformer. I don't plan on using the laser again. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side and then I'll disconnect the laser later. Now, this is where it gets uncomfortable for some people. All right, you're gonna wanna cut these wires off. All right, I'm sure this part's gonna be confusing for people, so check it out. The black wire that comes from the batteries gets connected to the black wire on the power switch. The red wire that comes from the batteries gets extended. The white wire that comes from the switch gets extended. Those two extended wires get pushed back down into the hole that the wires came up from. And that's what you're gonna connect the lights to. The red wire that you extended goes to the red wire on the lights. The white wire from the switch that you extended goes to the black wire on the lights. What you wanna do is you wanna clean up here really well. Maybe some denatured alcohol, that's what I'm gonna do, but you can do it however you want to. Some vinegar and water, um, some rubbing alcohol, but just make sure that it's clean. Then you wanna put the lights through where the laser came out of. And then you're gonna to wanna to adhere them right next to each other, as close as they can get, right up there. You can go back as far as you want. The closer you get to right here, the closer you get to the hole the laser was in, the more straight down the light will be.
Now the laser comes off by removing this set screw right here. You're going to want to cut about an eighth of an inch off of this so that it sits in there and the wires can get past it. You're going to want to secure the wires right there so that there's no chance of them sliding back in there and getting hit by the blade. <laughs> 